Hey, what's going down, A Push Peeps? Video 16, the presidencies of Washington and Adams, and the first party system. The first party system screams to me a short answer question or an essay, so be familiar with it. Before we begin at shout out time, I want to give a huge shout out to Mr. Albert's class in Minnesota. Best of luck to everyone. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support. All right, so let's talk about institutions and precedents set during Washington's and Adams administration. Precedents are examples for others to follow. In this case, they will be examples for future presidents to follow. So some institutions that were established during this time is the Bank of the United States under the leadership of George Washington. We'll talk more about this when we get to the first party system, but the Bank of the United States was the brainchild of Alexander Hamilton, his secretary of the treasury. The National Bank would help establish the United States credit and improve trade. So if you read the constitution, there is no mention of the federal government creating a national bank. So this set off debates about strict versus loose interpretation. Hamilton took a loose interpretation, said, listen, the Constitution doesn't say we can create it, but it also doesn't say we can't. And Jefferson and his followers took a strict interpretation and said, listen, the Constitution doesn't say, it, therefore you cannot. Ultimately, Washington will support his boy Hamilton and create the Bank of the United States. So jumping over to presidents, as I mentioned, they're examples for others to follow. And these were actions that were taken and followed by future presidents. An example is the two-term tradition. Now, this is a legal requirement now with the 22nd Amendment, but prior to that, Washington only served two terms. And after that, he stepped away. Future presidents would follow this until FDR in the 1940s. As I mentioned, this will become set in stone with the 22nd Amendment. I remember that by two term 22, two term 22. That's how you're gonna remember this 22nd Amendment. The cabinet is another precedent that was established by Washington. And these were advisors to the president and they were heads of departments. So people like Alexander Hamilton in the treasury, Thomas Jefferson and the state department, they advised George Washington and all other presidents will also establish their own cabinets. So the first party system we're gonna jump over to now and they were Federalists led by Alexander Hamilton. And also John Adams was another Federalist, but ironically, even though they were members of the same party, Hamilton and John Adams did not get along. Washington sided with many Federalist policies, but he was not a member of the party. He really is the only president in American history that is not a member of a political party, although he did support Federalist ideas. Now the Democratic Republicans were the other party during this time, and they were led by Thomas Jefferson, pictured here in James Madison, his very good friend. So these two people will be in opposition to the Federalist Party. So why did they develop? You need to be able to identify and explain why these parties developed. And there are four main reasons. The first one is the power of the federal government. Federalists believe that the federal government should be strong, whereas Democratic Republicans were more in favor of states having power. Now, foreign policy is another issue. This stemmed from the French Revolution. The Democratic Republicans wanted Washington to help out the French during their conflict with the English, whereas the Federalists wanted to remain neutral. Economic policy, again, is stemming from Hamilton's financial plan. The creation of the bank or the bus was a major reason for the creation of the federal of the first party system. And the balance between liberty and order, especially the Alien and Sedition Acts passed in 1890. Eight. So let's break each one of these down a little bit more. So the power of the federal government. Well, Federalist and Lin-Manuel Miranda here plays Alexander Hamilton, the hit musical Hamilton. They favored a stronger national, also known as federal or central government. Now, Democratic Republicans, they will favor a smaller federal government. And Thomas Jefferson, played by David Diggs, is pictured here. And Madison Jefferson argued that states should be able to nullify federal laws or they should be able to revoke federal law. So they wanted states to have a lot of power. And we see this through the Virginia and Kentucky resolutions, which we'll talk about in just a couple minutes, but that urged states to nullify the Alien and Sedition Acts. So foreign policy is a huge reason for the creation of the first party system. We'll specifically talk about Jay's treaty in the next video. But Democratic Republicans tended to support France. And it makes sense if you think about it. Thomas Jefferson 
was one of the authors of the Declaration of Independence, and he loved that France overthrew their monarchy as well. Also, France provided aid during the Revolutionary War, specifically after the Battle of Saratoga pictured here. The Declaration of Independence inspired the French Revolution and for them to overthrow their monarchy, as I mentioned, and Federalists wanted to have a beneficial relationship with England. You may ask yourself why we just fought this war against England. Why do Federalists want to promote a beneficial relationship? It all comes down to trade and making money. England was the world's largest trading partner and the U.S. wanted to be able to trade with them to help improve the economy. Jay's Treaty in 1794 acknowledged England as a favored trading partner. It actually gave them preferential status and this really angered France because they were fighting with England during this time. This was named after the first Chief Justice, John Jay. And again, we'll break this down a little bit more in the next video. So economic policy may be the biggest reason for the creation of the first party system. Hamilton's financial plan pitted Hamilton against Jefferson and Madison. The bus was by far the most controversial aspect. Again, that idea of strict versus loose interpretation. The Democratic Republicans took a strict approach, whereas the Federalists took a loose and ultimately, Washington, pictured here, played by Christopher Jackson in the Hamilton musical, will support the bus and side with the Federalists. And this will really upset the Democratic Republicans. So balance between liberty and order is the final cause of the creation of the political parties. So when Adams is president in 1798, he signs the Alien and Sedition Acts. And what this does is it is meant to silence Adams' Democratic Republican opponents. It actually made it illegal to criticize the government, which goes against the First Amendment of the Bill of Rights Freedom of Speech. Punishments for criticizing included fines and or jail time. Newspaper editors were thrown in jail and fined for this. And Jefferson, who was Adams' vice president, and Madison, they wrote the Virginia and Kentucky resolutions, which said states please nullify or declare these laws illegal or overturn them. That cannot happen. States do not have the power to do that. But Jefferson did not want to be silent, so he urged other states to revoke these laws. It is more symbolic than anything because no states follow through with trying to overturn these laws federal laws. Before we get a quick recap, I want to encourage you to check out the Hamilton soundtrack, specifically the following songs. Cabinet Battle Number 1 is all about the bank and Hamilton's financial plan. Cabinet Battle Number 2 is about conflict between France and England, which we'll talk more about in the next video. One Last Time is about Washington's farewell address. Again, we'll talk about that in the next video. And then every other song, because they are simply amazing, it will be some of the best musical hours of your life. Okay, a quick recap. Institutions under Washington, specifically the Bank of the United States. Presidents that were established. Don't forget about the two-term tradition and the presidential cabinet. Reasons for the development of the first party system. Those four reasons. Make sure you can explain them in detail for a potential essay or short answer topic. And I look forward to seeing you back here for the next video. Thanks for watching. Best of luck this year and have a good day.